All right, so we're going to be looking at this MacBook Pro um, trackpad issue. So a lot of people wonder why their trackpad is coming out like this. Um, this is because it, of a battery issue. So let's see if we can fix it. This one looks pretty bad. It's actually even damaging the, um, what do you call? It's even um, damaging the trackpad, like it's separating an adhesive layer. So let's see what we can do about this. So the screw driver you'll want to use for this is a PH0 or J0, okay? Um, you'll want to remove all the screws from the bottom. The three on these on this side are much longer, so make sure to keep them in order and don't mix them up. All right. So let's see here. Let's just remove all these screws. Normally I take the screws out in advance, so but I forgot. So you will have to watch me take out a bunch of screws. Okay, so make sure you're using the right size screwdriver. Don't use a PH1 or J1, you need the zero. Okay, and also be careful because the trackpad is popping up, so it is pushing on the back of, um, it is pushing on the screen, so be very careful not to apply too much pressure, and I'm actually pulling the screen up with my hand as I try and unscrew it. So, as you can see, the case it's or the battery is so bad that I'm taking the screws out and it's actually flying flinging the case out so I have to be very careful opening this thing okay, okay I'm actually also um, pinching the two layers together just like this So now that you can see all the screws are out, the battery is pushing the whole case out. All right, so we'll set this case aside. Um, for the battery, you normally will need a tri-wing screwdriver. So you'll need, where is it? You'll need one of these 3.1s. Um, I don't know what exactly the size is of this, but uh, it's just a tri-wing. They have different sizes and they will work okay. All right, so we'll pull that out. Usually when it's bulged like this, it probably completely destroyed the screws anyways. So I don't think there's any screws. Actually, the screw is still holding itself, so that's pretty crazy. So you will have to remove that one screw. Oh, okay, it finally snapped off. But we'll remove the screw. Okay, and also these tri-wing screws are different sizes as well, so just keep that in mind. All right, sorry, my head's getting in the way. All right, so take those two screws out. The shorter one is on this side and the longer one's on this side. Once you get all those screws, you can hopefully pull the battery out. Okay, so here you can see how bad this battery got. It's like exploding. Even this shell piece is opening up. Okay, this is a very common issue. Hopefully all the RAM and stuff is in place. If you're working on something like this, make sure you keep yourself grounded again. But here you can see this whole thing is like bent up. It's pretty crazy. So normally you can just push, oops, you can just push this piece back in place. Um, this part actually got pushed out, so I will have to take the screws out and realign that. So let's take the screws out here. These will still be using the pH um, oops, the pH zero, so switch back. All right, so we're gonna remove, I think the two silver screws are the ones we need to remove from here. So we'll remove the two or the four outer silver screws from both sides. All right. And keep pressure on the bottom with your other hand. Okay, so that way it doesn't get pushed in. Just like this. You might have to disconnect the trackpad. This trackpad cable, when you take it out, it's a bit of a pain to put back. So keep that in mind. I think I do need to take it out though. So to take it out, you just pop up this connector, just like this. 
use your fingernail or a pry tool. If you use a pry tool, try not to use anything metal. All right, so once you get that, okay, I can put this back, it looks like, without completely doing that, without completely removing it. So there we go. Um, but I'm going to try and remove this so I can flatten it. So um, this cable, you want to kind of flex it backwards so that it can slide underneath. Okay. And then you just slide it out like this. All right. So let's see if we can somehow bend this trackpad thing back in place. It is for the most part bent back, but this metal frame, it uses an adhesive. So as you can see, so we do have to bend it. It is risky. Um, you want to be very careful. I think it might crack, but the trackpad is broken or damaged either way. So I might have to just risk that. All right. So normally I've seen these where the trackpads will actually crack. I mean, they've been cracked from the battery issue. So I'm just going to try and bend it. And that way I don't have to get a replacement one. Okay. So let's see, and just apply like slow pressure. You don't want to quickly do it or you can easily snap these things because the trackpad is made of glass. Even right now, I feel like I might break it. So I have to be careful. Okay, so just slightly flex it back. There we go. Okay, and hopefully the old adhesive will still hold up and not come off. All right. Hopefully, and hopefully this trackpad still works okay. All right, so there we go. It's not completely flat, but it's a lot flatter than before. This side is kind of bowed out, so I have to bend this this way if I can. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think it'll do. want to pull too hard and then damage it so I'm just checking how flat it is on the table it is still a bit bent but I mean unless we replace it I don't think we can do better than that okay so now that we got that we have to put the trackpad back in so you open the screen slightly tuck this cable into here once you get that in you're gonna have to use like a little needle or a toothpick so I'll take a toothpick and then lift this piece up. It's a little bit tricky, but it, you just got to keep working at it. So just like that, lift it so that it's parallel against this uh, metal bar here. And then after that, you can push it up. Okay, just like that. And then once you do that, put the little back feet in first, just like this at an angle. Okay. And oops, hopefully you can see that. Just put these little feet in at an angle first so there's a gap down here, and then you can lift up the whole trackpad. All right, once you got that, then you can put the screws back in. I'll let them decide if they want to replace the trackpad or not. It should be fine for use, but it will be sticking up slightly. Okay, so put back the four screws. Usually I will put these back. Um, not and not tighten them all the way at first so I can make sure the trackpad is all aligned and once we make sure it's aligned then we can put it back completely okay so now that we got two screws in I can let go okay that screw in as well all right so you got that I am gonna dust out this computer as well it's very dusty um, but here you can see now the trackpad for the most part is flat it's a little still bent here um, hopefully you can kind of push it back a little and it'll be okay but um, yeah it's gonna be slightly bent forever so if they want a replacement then I'll get a replacement but as of now um, we will leave this one in there Okay, so we'll do that, line that back up. Most of the times if you do it, if you catch it early enough, you can replace the trackpad before it gets really bad. Um, there is like a slight gap here as you can see, but it's much better than before. Okay, so we'll put the connector, put the connector back on. It's 
a little bit tricky to line it up. Okay, snap that back down. And make sure these screws are all tightened. Should be good. Okay. All right, so now I'll put this back. Usually also I like to check, make sure the RAM didn't get screwed up from all that flexing. So what you do is take the sticks out and then just put them back in, um, clean off the connectors. Some people get like mad at me for this, but I've never had issues. Gold doesn't have any issues with um, corrosion and things like that. So it's not really an issue. Just make sure that you have yourself grounded. Anyways, then put it at an angle like that push it all the way in and then push it down so again push it up like this at an angle all right make sure you push it all the way in and then push it down to lock it in place all right so that's pretty much all there is to it you basically just get a new battery replace it if you want you can replace the trackpad if yours is really bad um, I think they're about 25 bucks or something I don't know the price might change anyways um, so that's all there is to this hopefully this video helped you if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help me and it'll also help others find this video to fix their computers. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.